Hello guys, welcome back, hope you're doing well. Uh, this is the video up on updated mining uh, Ice River monitor tool for all Ice River ASICs now been updated and it works for KS3 L, M, KS3 and all the KS0, KS0 Pro should work for KS1 and KS2. I don't have those two to uh, verify, but everything else I checked and tested. So you go to the T-Swift mining uh, post on his Telegram and you'll see the link to download. You click on that link, you'll go to that download section and you uh, click on the latest uh, version. Uh, so same procedure as you did before. Uh, they're quick note. I'm, I'll post the link to that channel in Telegram uh, in my description so all you gotta do open and unzip the file once you unzip it click on the type here organize by type because it's gonna be scrolling down and finding this ice river monitor kind of sometimes you know like once it's opened by the name or by the date it'll be scrolling and looking for that um, application but if you go by application type you quickly uh, find that application and just double click on that once you open that, uh, you'll see a ready for IP address. So find your IP address. A couple people will, were asking me like, oh, well, the IP address may change and how do I know which one is where? So uh, guess what? On iceriver.io, you can download this application that's called the um, Ice River tool as well. It's SL Miner. I'm not sure what they call there. You can just go and check it out on their same place where you download your um, our firmware updates. And as you download this, you select your uh, IP addresses on your network. Uh, uh, if you have different IP addresses, you can search through different IP addresses. So you click on IP range and add here your range. You can go from one to all the way to the, um, wait, this is wrong tool. Sorry about that. You use Ice River tool. This is for my um, just miners. So Ice River tool is Ice River version 1.0.23 or whatever they have now available. It seems like gonna start just like that. Uh, on IP configuration here page, you will select your IP range from beginning to the end. Uh, the IP, if it's 1.1 or whatever you have the difference. Uh, configuration for your if you have like uh, 10 10 let's say uh, or different type of the IP so set this up and then click to start scanning and you can only show uh, connected so this is gonna filter only connected IP addresses so you don't have to scroll through the list yes it will take a little while compared to the just minor tool uh, that I show you actually works super super fast. You just click start scanning, it's gonna scan all my jazz miners on the network within maybe uh, 20 seconds. And look, it's boom, it's done. I don't know why Ice River tool is so takes freaking long to get that done. So have this all my jazz miners and the IP addresses. You just click double click and you can open your IP just right from the tool. Similar here, once this is uh, finished, it will take probably a minute or two, depending what's on your network and how many devices you have. But it's, I noticed it's been like taking a lot longer. But however, once you're done, I'll show you that later. I will let that tool uh, continue to scan. I'll put it on the side. So let me show you the difference between the older uh, tool, what we have, what we had before and this newer tool so the older tool we didn't have selection i'll put it on the right side and this is the very old uh, that we're not even going to compare but the only a uh, similarity is you could select your uh, asic from the list drop down which you have on the new one as well so we're going to close it out we don't need that it's uh, a little bit outdated now so we're just going to check and see what been added so let's uh copy and paste so i have same exactly ip address on both of them we're going to read that and it's going to be 10 seconds interval refresh rate which is really cool for monitoring you don't have that on the very old tool so now what's been added is uh, fan speeds right here right besides the selection of your minor type you're going to have the um, 
So you have to properly select your miner. So if I do KS3 for this IP address and I'm going to read it, what's going to happen? It would still uh, going to search for the information, but it's not going to find it correctly, right? Uh, what if I put KS0 there? It will just sometimes read and put only temperature for one or three, four, only four um, chips because the KS0 only four chips and so forth. So make sure you select the right uh, miner type. Otherwise, you think you're going to receive correct information, but you're not going to see all the chips and you're going to miss big time your uh, temperatures on the bad chips. So make sure to do select here on the previous uh, tool it was automatically recognizing which kind of like that but regardless you, you can select the tool I mean I guess that's the only way to make it work for the all kind of uh, things see like you would recognize automatically KS3 or KS3M here so I don't have okay so this tool of ice river uh, finished and recognize all my IP addresses with all my miners and I can select them by hash rate or I can check um, it's kind of hard to figure which one it is because you have to read through this is my KS zeros this is my KS 3M and there should be KS 3 miners so then you can click uh, click or copy this um, IP address from here if you click you're gonna go directly to the website there and you can copy that IP address instead of logging in and um, so forth so there is a tool for it don't worry it's the uh, it's not integrated in this tool obviously you can search for your IP address on your network here but you can find your miner uh, with that ice river tool okay so make sure to download it, use it. I always use that if I change anything on the network. So now, um, yeah, so really is additional uh, good stuff is the fan speeds. Now, if you're using Fruition Design like I put just on this KS3M yesterday, um, and it's I, I had the KS3M Fruition Design here on the uh, KS3A6. So let's compare KS3 now. Basically, it's going to show all the same information, except it will, uh, if I put KS3L here, I will not get all of the chips. So, it's recognized all the same stuff, but take a look at the temps of the board. So, I have 75 on my second board, and I have 78 maximum. Why? Because I'm missing about probably... Uh, quite few chips here look at the KS3 I have 112 chips it's only a red 42 chips on this board 56 chips on the first board and 56 chips on that board so we miss it we miss it about like 200 chips probably of the uh, of this A6 so we're not going to be able to tell correct temperature so please select correct miner for this IP otherwise it's not going to work properly so as you do that uh, you get correct information and then you get all of your chips here you can scroll down and make sure and then you can click on each port and check your maximum chip temperature if you see maximum temperature don't look at the average average is just calculated based on the all the chips what you really need to look is for your max temperature as soon as you see on the max higher than 95 degrees there's an issue with the chips being overheated and especially if it's going in the red zone that's above 100 in that case you definitely need to replace your thermal paste and uh, shut down your miner as soon as possible or provide a lot more cooling now you can see i'm all around 80 and under 80 on these boards on ks3 same and exactly information on the older tool except it shows now that my pool in green that's the pool is connected here the red is not connected on the other three uh, two of the options out of three also I have this uh, fan speed so that's pretty much the difference I guess everything else it seems to be pretty oh look it also shows on the older it was like showing four boards so it would not filter because it um, it automatically would detect always four boards and then you just click through them even on KS3 I'll show you on our uh, KS0 
original, right? So if I do that, my K0 original will show all four boards. It's only one readable board. Let's take a look at K0 original here and put 73. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, so it's going to show only one board. So there is no other boards showing up here. Ah, all right. So here you go, uh, T Swift. If you're watching this right there, it's showing actually. Uh, yeah, so you have to click on that one board or be always on the board one in order to show the information. So again, your all information is here, your fan speeds for one and two. There is no other fans there, so it doesn't show anything. And you have connected pool in the green and red, not connected pool. So very similar, just few extra steps and uh, to select your um, proper miner. But also uh, there is no issue now to connect to uh, 75K3M which before, if I put 75 here, it didn't work. Maybe for some of you that you couldn't read your uh, other miners, see like it didn't show anything on the first board. It shows the temperatures on the max, which is correct. There is no correct average. There is a max voltage and the hash rate is correct. So everything else will not show on any of these boards. So this newer Ice River monitor from T-Swift is just beautiful. It connects everything in one. Now I don't have to open the second one for different um, my uh, KS3M. I all can monitor in one thing. Also, what's cool about it, I'll show you another a uh, quick thing. So what I did, I did on the start and add it here just right on my start. So it's quickly I can open it up and I'm going to open up three of them. I think I did in my previous video, but I just want to show you again if you're monitoring or adjusting anything on your device, uh, you would just select and copy paste all of your same IP addresses and click read on all of them right for KS3M make sure you select an all of them proper um, and I can set it up that I could see all these temperatures right there on the site I kind of like to cascade it right there and to be able to see temps I don't know if you can guys see all of it but that's the idea behind it so now I'm gonna select a first board one on the first one board two on the second and board three on the third one. So now I am monitoring entire uh, ASIC. So I see all the temperatures. I don't have to click in between them. So every 10 seconds, I will it will automatically refresh and give me the temps. I don't have to click between the boards in the real time. Really nice tool. Um, yeah, I wish we could do the window spread out and make change the sizes of the window this way I could put it on the, on the screen the way I want it otherwise it just looks cool and it should be all right to use so hopefully guys you like it I don't want to keep this video too long but uh, check out the videos from uh, Red Panda Mining and Greater Good Mining they post all the video about this um, stuff also and I'll be uh, posting video on my KS3M76 IP that is number one which was overheating so my chips were over 108 Celsius which is crazy and insane and now I'm gonna click read on all of this you could see this is my KS3 uh, KS3M1 number one Okay, and all the boards reading uh, below 80, 81, around 81 degrees. With the fan, AC Infinity fan being around, I'm going to check right now, it's, I believe it's about 80% eight, right now on my KS3M. Yeah, 80%, and that's been able to hold up. I was running 100%, that's different video. Check it out. I'm going to post how I put fruition design on it. It didn't help for the chips and how I fixed the temperatures 
and what I found in Ice River. There's a crazy stuff I found on the chips. Guys, go check it out that video when it's going to be posted. You'll have fun. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.